Imagine walking through Target, you've got a cart full of stuff, you're pushing it up to the cashier, and all of a sudden they say, awesome, you got everything you need, let's go next door and we'll go ahead and process that payment. That'd be a weird experience. The same is true when you're selling your own stuff on the internet. If you're hanging out on your blog, you're hanging out on social media, and then all of a sudden you gotta take people somewhere else to go buy. And the payment experience doesn't really look like your brand, it doesn't really look like you, it's a weird experience for the customer. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how to take SamCart's checkout and how to place it under your own domain name so that your customers know exactly who they are and that experience from start to discovering one of your products to buying them is as seamless as possible. Let's dive in, we'll show you exactly how to do it. Adding your own custom domain starts by just going to your SamCart Marketplace settings down here in the corner, and then you're gonna come up to the custom domains spot. You can see I already have a domain, but the really cool part is now you can actually purchase your own domain without ever leaving SamCart, or add an existing domain name that you already own. Let's go ahead, I'll show you guys how to buy a brand new domain. We have now partnered with name.com, so you guys can actually come here and name.com, search for a domain name. Let me do that really quick. With name.com, you can search and find out if the domain name that you want is available. You could say, cool, add to cart. I wanna go ahead and add uh, scottmakesproducts.com. Maybe I wanna add it for multiple different years. Choose your choices. You can go ahead and purchase, or if you own domain names in name.com already, you can log in and add your existing domain names as well. If you have your own domain already somewhere else and it's already hosted somewhere else, you can follow some steps that we have inside of our help article. Click use existing domain, type in the name of your domain. So let's say I wanted to add five minute marketing.com to my site. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. It's not that simple. Now we need to go follow some instructions in our help article to change some DNS settings and things like that. But buying and purchasing your own domain, adding something from name.com from right inside of here, super simple. I'm gonna delete this one. And now for makeproductsfast.com, I can actually say, right? Right now you can see that URL is set to a coming soon page. So if I go to makeproductsfast.com. I'm gonna see this, just a generic coming soon page. It'll have your logo that you've uploaded to SamCart. All good, right? If you don't want a coming soon page, what you can do instead is actually say, I want to choose a SamCart product as my homepage for this URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Uh, and I think the product I'm looking for is called SamCart Demo. It's like French learning or something. Let me make sure I actually can type. Uh, SamCart Demo French learning. Here's a product I know I've created the sales page for inside of SamCart. I want this, when people go to makeproductsfast.com, I want this product to be the homepage. You can also then upload a favicon. The favicon are these little icons that you see up here uh, when you go to a certain URL. So like if I go to ESPN.com, the favicon is that big E, right? And so you can upload your own, uh, your own custom favicons. I will choose one here. There's one for this five minute marketing brand that we have. Um, I'll go ahead and click save changes, right? And just like that, now if I refresh makeproductsfast.com, it should redirect to the page I've made inside of SamCart. Voila, here we are. So now we have chosen a product sales page to be the homepage of makeproductsfast.com. This URL just like that is added to our SamCart account. If I wanted to add other products to this domain, I could go over to my products tab. I could open up any product that we have in here. I can come to this product settings go to the advanced tab and scroll down until I see custom domain. And so now I can say, okay, cool. This product also exists under makeproductsfast.com. What's gonna happen is the URL that we've chosen under details. So now it's instead of you know app.samcart.com slash samcart examples, now it's makeproductsfast.com slash products slash daily subscription, right? And now this product will exist there as well. You can do this for as many products as you want. If I navigate back over to my custom domains area, um, you can add as many products as you create on SamCart under this custom domain. You can also add, here's another marketplace that we have. You can add multiple different custom domains to your account. There are no limits to that. So if you wanted every one of your products to have its own custom domain, great job, you can make that happen. But new custom domain area, your ability to have all of your products, your sales pages, everything live under your domain. You of course also can use uh, SamCart Express, SamCart Embed, SamCart Slide uh, to put just like this right here, you can actually put SamCart's checkout onto any page on your existing website, right? So this doesn't need a custom domain. This is just using slide, using embed, using Express, our newest technologies to add SamCart checkout to your website. But regardless of what you wanna do, 
add a custom domain, go search and buy and do all of that stuff right from inside of your own SAM card account and start keeping people on your own domain name.